The settings we're going to change are going to go ahead and help your connection to your PS4 a lot. This could even help other things as well if you did it on other platforms. So with this, you're going to want to follow these two steps. They're pretty easy to change and it will go through and give you more speed to your PS4, especially your download and possibly your upload. But the downloads mainly what we're focusing on. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and get this working. And because I'm hooking you up with these great tips, do me a huge favor and smack that subscribe button and think about using code kevinsmack.tv in the Epic item shop. If you do play Fortnite or any Epic games, I would really, really appreciate it. Now let's go ahead and get in this and let's get things working and really running well for you. So to do this, we want to go ahead and go up and we're going to go ahead and move over to the right till we get to the setting toolbox. We're going to go ahead and select that. Now we're going to go ahead and go down. We're going to choose network. And here, what we want to do first is test the connection just to see where we're at before we start so you can get a better idea. So let me go ahead and fast forward that a little bit. There we go. So we're at 40.2 down and 3.9 up. Now those numbers can vary from time to time, you know, because of the server load and stuff, but you get an idea of where we're at. So now we're gonna go ahead and go back and we're gonna go ahead and choose network. Here, we're gonna go ahead and choose set up internet connection. Here you can use Wi-Fi or LAN. LAN's gonna be better, obviously, if you can plug it in. It's the same steps for either of them. You choose the one you want and then you choose custom. We'll choose custom. Now we're going to go ahead and choose your Wi-Fi. If you're using Wi-Fi, we're going to choose Elmo. Elmo. <laughs> here we're going to go ahead and choose IP address settings. We're going to choose automatic here because this portion is not that important. And for DHCP, do not specify. Now we're at DNS. DNS stands for Domain Name Server. We're going to go ahead and choose manual here and input those. Basically what this is, every website has a number associated to it. And this is a directory for that. So if you go to Fortnite.com, for example, you're actually going to a specific number. But instead of trying to remember all the numbers for the websites, we put names to them, which makes it a lot easier for us to remember. So the domain name service, the faster it is, the better. And there's a new one called Cloudflare that's out. That's amazing. So we're going to go ahead and choose it. And we're going to go ahead and choose primary. We're going to delete everything in here. And we're going to put this very difficult number to remember. I'm being very sarcastic right now. I don't know if you can tell, but I am losing my voice. This is probably my fourth time recording this because I had some technical problems. And yeah, I have a little health problems going on. So... Losing my voice a little bit. Let's hope that comes back. Well, or not, if you don't want to hear me. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and put that IP address in. Now, the good thing about these, this IP address is they are the fastest right now. And also, what else they do is they keep your privacy. Every 24 hours, they delete all the logs and they don't save any of your records. Completely opposite of Google. So that's kind of nice that they do that. So we're going to put the secondary DNS. This is the backup for them. It's 1.0.0.1. And may I say, how cool is it that they have IP address 1.1.1.1? <laughs> we're going to go ahead and choose OK of that. Then we're going to go in automatic, no proxy. Then we're going to go ahead and test the connection. Now, the first time you test the connection, it may not come out right, just so you know. Because it's the first time you're do using the domain name server and it's got to kind of register and find everything correctly. So the first time you don't want to really pay attention to the speed. So we're going to go ahead and let this go and then we're going to run it a second time. There we go. See the speed's really bad for download, but that's all right because like I said, it it's not correct. So we're going to go ahead and go back and then we're going to go ahead and test it again and make sure we get a better speed. So we will go and test internet connection. And here we go again. Let's go, Elmo. You got this. <laughs> so I believe we're at 40 and dot change. Now we're at 46.9. I believe our upload speed was like 3.8, 3.9. So we're at 4.0. So we went up 
a good amount in the download and a little bit in the upload, which is awesome. So this is gonna definitely speed up your PS4 in downloading games, going through and just playing games, your ping to the server that's gonna help. Every little bit means a lot. So I really hope this did help you. And if you enjoyed this, smack that like button, do me a favor, share this with your friends. They could use it, I could use the help. And if we get a lot of people checking this video out, I'll go ahead and make it for the other platforms. I'll show you how to get it on your computer or your router and do all that so you can get your whole house running smooth. See you in the next video. I'm going to post some here that I hope you like and I will see you over there.